All right, guys, I don't do a whole lot of refrigeration work anymore, but this is a friend of the company. We're working on a single glass door refrigerator here. It's not cooling, it's not keeping temp. I think it was at like 53 degrees or something. So we're gonna help him out. Uh, it's actually at 58 now, but um, Compressor comes on, fan comes on, everything's coming on, so it might just be low on charge. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hook up one of these little guys here. It's the bullet piercing valve by Sufco. This is the smaller one. This is the quarter, five sixteenths, three eighths. They have one that does um, a bigger size, I think like half and five eighths. But this is all we need here. Because with most refrigerators, especially ones nowadays, with the flammable refrigerant in them, R600, they don't give you valves. Now this is a 134A model, but still no valves. You could put a, a high side on one here, and you can put your low side on one right here. So I'm just gonna hook up the low side and uh, we'll put our gauges on it and, uh, and see what it's doing. These really are not meant to stay on. Um, this is really just for checking, and once you do what you have to do, um, well, if, if you realize it's low on charge, you put this on, recover the remaining refrigerant, sweat in a, a valve, a uh, valve core, Schrader valve, whatever, uh, evacuate, and then uh, take, take this back off. So, but we're gonna put it on, we're gonna see what it's running. What it's doing and go from there okay so these are the pieces you get with it the actual valve which with no sleeve in it is 3 8 and then you have your quarter inch and 5 16 sleeves and they give you a little wrench to install it with a little allen wrench to install it so uh, the way this guy works is once you put it on you turn this center screw all the way down till it stops and then back it back off what that does is it actually, there's a little needle in there. You can see a little hole right there in the middle. Um, that little needle pierces the copper, and then once you back it back off, man, you're open to the refrigerant system. That's why it's not good to leave these on there, because once you close it back, it really doesn't make a great seal. These are prone to leak, so. We're gonna put it on right now just to check, just to see how low this thing is. All right, we got our valve in there, you see? We got our hose hooked up to it, have not pierced it yet. We're still sitting at zero. So like I said, we're just gonna, we're just gonna take and turn this center screw right here until it pierces and then back it back off to open it back up. All right, there we go, 33 pounds of standing pressure. Let's turn it back on. I have a feeling this thing is gonna be low. Seems like it's low. better here so going down to 46 degrees <clears throat> we'll see what she does might put a little more in all right we're down to about 40 so I talked to the customer asked him if he wanted me to unsweat our piercing valve and take it out He's not really worried about it because he thinks he's going to be replacing this soon anyway. So um, if he wants us to take the piercing valve off and uh, sweat a valve stem in, then he'll let us know. But we just want to leave it like this for now. So works for me. I just want to make sure it's not leaking. Sprayed it with some leak soap. Doesn't appear to be leaking, so I think we're good. Yeah, it's even satisfied. Get some life out of the Bev area. All right, guys, we're back today. It's 
to replace this disconnect and whip. Do the best I can to repair this here because I don't have means to replace that today, but we'll see what we can do with it. All right, we'll double check, make sure the power's dead. Comes into the top here. Yep, we are dead. Let's just check one to ground too. Yeah, we're good. All right, so that light there steals power from our disconnect. And I told the property manager about it. So they're gonna have an electrician come out and deal with that at a later date. But he asked if I would just hook it back up the way it was. So that's what we're gonna do. And they'll have their electrician fix it later. So that's all we can do. All right, let's get this old disconnect off. Get started. All right, we got this guy out of here. So here's our light wire here, and this is our main power coming in. This is getting replaced here. So I don't have to worry about that. I'm thinking here, I can put my new one back where it was, but I'm thinking if I maybe install it <clears throat> over top of my line coming in, I'll be able to protect this more is my thought but I don't know I'm just trying to try to protect this more but then we'll have this big open spot here all right we got the new disconnect mounted I am not necessarily proud of this but I wrapped a shitload of tape around my line coming in where I let the um, property manager know when the electrician comes he has to repair this also that's no good so he's gonna I guess do something about this, I'm not sure what, the light, and then replace this. So, uh, I'm just gonna hook it back up the way it was for now. At least it's better than what it was. I can't believe they got away with using Romex outside, but uh, I guess it's some sort of um, uh, outdoor Romex, but still, that, that doesn't fly nowadays. But, all right, moving on. All right, guys, we got our new disconnect wired up. Um, I'm gonna put the cover back on it now so I can get the power turned back on. Um, and then I'll finish the other side. Yeah, like I said, all these wires in here, I don't like all that, but it is what it is, guys. So yeah, we got our one side of our whip here, power coming in, and then the light. All right, I got my new whip in, it's wired up. Just about done here. capacitor that came with the motor we got it wired up uh, for high speed got our extra wires tied off and capped off I'm gonna start this up and we're gonna make sure it's going in the right direction if it's not we're gonna take and swap this guy around <clears throat> All right, just need to make sure it's going in the right direction jump from here to here 